it was a needed plot twist and a hard turn in my life. And no matter how risky it gets, I wouldn't do it any other way. To start off with, the government and politicians will never be able to resolve my personal issues. They have their own to deal with. So, I had to safeguard my life on my own and to flood the country. It is, as they say, what it is. I accepted things as they are. That then drives me to better myself first so I can subsequently help my country effectively. It's not because I'm tired of yearning for a better Philippines. Rather, I need to be pragmatic, which means prioritizing my life away from home. I had to recheck. God reshuffled my life, allowing me to reinvent myself. I had to start again. Coming from someone who had established her career over the years and was content with her job to someone who had to go down the ladder and start over. I know I'm almost finished building my profession, but surprisingly, God has not finished yet with building better plans for me. Of course, I had to put mine aside. I had to let go of my personal ambitions to see what else he had in store for me. I guess this made me my father's ball but I will begin. Surrender Pinned at the top of my vocabulary list, but letting go of all I already have is not that easy. As I grew older, I became more hesitant to take risks. Despite having mastered the acceptance of failure, I am much more cautious in making decisions. As much as I am concerned about time, I am totally done with the trial and error experiments. I thought I was finished exploring both sides of the world until I had to pack my luggage once again. I always tend to face this strenuous world head on and for the nth time pulled myself together to net back out the moment I dipped my toes into the water. This season demanded a lot from me. It took a lot of me. But surely, the losses are well worth the gains. Of course, I have doubts as to whether this path could take me somewhere and if I was doing the right turn. After all, I am a growing adult. Nonetheless, I always knew in my heart that everything happens for a purpose. So I had to narrow my focus on the goal and take on the role I must play. The future me, I had to work for. There will always be hurdles. This completely slipped my mind at first. I thought that after overcoming my quarter life crisis and all the rock bottoms, I would no longer have to deal with Rocker Rose anymore. But I was wrong. Since those hurdles I faced have prepared me to confront bigger ones as I continue my road trip. Life will always find a way to challenges while also molding us to be even tougher on each ride. It will always be a survival game, I bet. But what made it fascinating was the certainty of reward at every point of our quest. This year began with a double-edged sword, and it has not been an easy year to begin with, if I may say so. I had to carry on and bear my own cross, despite it weighing on me, despite it getting heavier and heavier each passing day. I can't even fathom how I was able to endure. Worse, I think I have reached the end of my faith spectrum. I am left with nothing 
with absolute trust and having nothing allows me to see everything. The comfort I get to have for free, the unusual sight of the world I was able to see, and the unconditional love of a family that almost rhymed. All of these have become my solace in times of distress. Adding to that, I know the moment I embark on this journey, I am not alone. I have my passengers with me, my family, loved ones, and friends. As Michelle Yeo said, Find your people. Life is not always a zero-sum game. For every winner, there doesn't have to be a loser. In fact, most success stories are less about competition and more about collaboration. The truth is, I could not have done any of this alone. My achievements are the results of those around me who offered and continue to offer support and belief. There are times where, as much as I don't want to let myself down, I don't want to let them down even more. I realize I still have a lot to learn, and taking charge of my life is what truly matters right now. I don't want to live with if-onlys and could-haves. As much as I still can, I would test all the waters, even if it means exhausting all the chances along the way. For now, I am saying yes to the moment, and we're surely gonna figure it out later. Having said that, I am fully embracing this whole new bubble. Detours are roundabouts that will take you to an originally unknown location. And that location will remain indefinite unless you continue your route. Well, you can always return to your customary road, but this time with the experience gained along the journey, which will undoubtedly give you a better perspective than the ones you had before, and will shape you into the better person that you once were. Here's me, urging you to reroute with caution. Drive your own life safely. Take care.